everyone, Laura with We Met to Wirework and More here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really lovely silver bow and bead earrings. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now the materials we're going to use today is a ruler. I've got a mandrel. Uh, this is one is very inexpensive and I got it at the craft store. But you can use any round or circular item. We have got some clear seed beads here. And once again, you can use any beads that you prefer. Um, I just have the seed beads here. And then we are using a 22 gauge silver wire and then our jewelry pliers. So we have got our round nose, we have got our hooked nose, and then just a pair of snips. So we've gone in and we have cut two pieces of our silver wire to approximately about seven inches long. And we're going to take our round nose pliers and we are going to just scooch that wire up right up against the widest part of the pliers and we're just going to give this a twist. What we're going for here is our bail on our earring. And then we want to take it and we want to just give it a sharp bend just to straighten that out so that you end up with this really great little bail, this really great little loop. Straightening this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our mandrel and we want to decide how large we want our earring to be. Now, I'm not a big fan of really big jewelry, so I'm going to go with just a medium size hoop, loop. Okay, and then we just firmly wrap that around the mandrel. And then we take our Take our loop and we're going to straighten that out so that it's more or less where we want it to be when everything is said and done. And then as you can see that took us, that gave us a full loop and then some. Okay, so that's too much but we knew we were going to end up with an excessive amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that bottom loop and we are going to make sure that it is up against our bale here, holding onto it firmly. And then, and this is just for measuring purposes. And then what we're going to do, make sure that it's nice, nice and tight, nice and parallel. We're going to determine where the center of this ring is and then we're going to go just a little bit to the left of that. I'd say oh probably about half a centimeter I guess is what we're looking at here. And then we're going to take our round pliers and we're going to hold on to making sure that this is nice and tight, that these, these circles are even. And then we're going to take our leftover wire and we are going to curl it, not all the way around, but just so that we end up with this little, little loop off to the side a bit. And then taking our round pliers again, we're going to Go right where this little loop meets the main structure of our earring. And then we are going to, gee, I sure hope you guys can see this. 
we're going to wrap this around, not all the way around. So this is what this is what we're going for. This is what we got here. And then we are just going to take and we're going to give that just a little snip. Just cutting off that tail carefully so that you don't get the other ones. So what that has done is that has given us our little little loop directly beneath our bail. Now I suggest doing both earrings at the same time before you do, before you add your beads. So we've gone in and we've made both of our earrings and they're looking a little warbly, they're looking a little wonky at this point, but once we actually wrap them, with our 22 gauge wire, it is going to stabilize those loops a little bit better. So taking our wire, we just want to pop it through the center of our bail. Now this might not be closed all the way and that's okay. So we just want to give that a squeeze flatten it there so that it's going to hold this in place and then we are just going to start to wind our wire. You can take that little tail and you can lock it in there as well underneath that wire. are just loose wraps. And you need to decide at what point you want to add your beads and also how many you want to add. So I think we're going to go with these are relatively flat beads. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, yeah, I think five will probably be perfect for this. So we're going to string our first bead. And I want to make sure it's lying flat against my earring. And then I'm going to do one wrap. Introduce my second bead. Give this a bit of a kink here to flat, keep it flat my second bead and at this point I am going to just pop this little loop out of the way pull it up a little bit so that I can get that wrap under there because the next one I'm going to go over over this little curl over this little crook here popping on a bead A little, little bend there so that it lays flat. So now this time I am going to take the wire it's being a little funky. There we go. Take that wire and 
put it through the center of our little our little curly cue. And we're going to wrap it a couple times just to hold that in place. And then string another bead. Taking our wire and putting it underneath that second loop. Just take it and pull it up just a titch. Sliding our wire underneath like that. And then one more bead. I chased the other one away so it's there somewhere on the worktop. Giving that a little bend like that. Hold it in place. And then we continue to wrap. So there we go. Pretty little earring with the beads on the bottom. And I'm going to continue to wrap this to the top. That. And now we've come back to the top where our bale is. And you know, I'm just going to give that uh, just a little bit of a squeeze here. And then we're going to wrap our wire around the bale, capturing the whole thing in this wrap. A bit of slippage there. And then one more just to hold it in place. Snipping that off. So we had cut 14 inches, so that is a little bit long, but better too much than not enough. So then we're going to take, we're going to bend that wire, we're going to poke it down in that bale. So I went ahead and added a couple of ear wires, and there they are. There are finished earrings. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And leave me your comments. I'd like to hear from you guys. In the meantime, have a fantastic day. And I will talk to you soon.